Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So what we got going on here is that we have to find the area and perimeter of a regular hexagon. So a little bit going on here. So a hexagon is just a six-sided shape. A regular hexagon just means that all those sides are going to be exactly the same length. So anytime you see a shape and it says regular in front of it, usually that means that all the sides are going to be exactly the same lengths. And typically the way this is written is that either they will write that it's four centimeters all the way around for this particular shape, or they will just denote it at one point or one length and they will have these little tick marks on it. And whenever you see these little tick marks, that means that they are all exactly the same length. So how do we determine the area for a regular hexagon? Keep in mind, this is only for a regular hexagon. This is not just for any hexagon. It has to be a regular hexagon with all sides being exactly the same length. So the area for a regular hexagon is going to be three times the square root of three over two times S squared. Alrighty, so what is going on here? Well, we're going to simplify this portion down a little bit. And then the S squared. S is going to be the length of your side. Since it's a regular hexagon, does not matter which one you use, they should all be the same. So this area is going to be equal to, well, 3 times the square root of 3 over 2 pops out to be 2.5981. And this will be times your side times your side again. Well, in this case, four centimeters is just the length of our side. So let's go ahead and plug that in for S. So the area of this regular hexagon would be 2.5981, which this 2.5981 will always be that value for a regular hexagon times four centimeters times four centimeters. And this gives us a total area of 41.5. 5, 7 centimeters squared. Keeping in mind that for the units, you will have to have squared on whatever dimension you have. Whenever you see this little squared symbol up here, that means you're dealing with an area parameter. So our total area for our regular hexagon is 41.57 centimeters squared. Alrighty, so next we have to do the perimeter. Well, the perimeter is just a fancy way of saying, how much does it take to get all the way around this shape and back to your starting point? Well, since we have six sides here, we are going to be adding six numbers together. So our perimeter, which I'm just going to abbreviate as capital P for a perimeter, will just be all our sides added up. So it is four centimeters plus four centimeters plus four centimeters plus four centimeters plus four centimeters, and lastly, another four centimeters. So as you can see, we have six fours here, and that adds up to be 24 centimeters. Another way that you could also do this is that since it is a regular hexagon and all the sides are exactly the same, you can just take the number of sides that you have, which is six for a hexagon, and multiply it by the length of one of your sides. So it'd be six times four centimeters, and this would give us, once again, 24 centimeters. Keeping in mind that perimeter will have the same unit as your original length has, because perimeter is just a distance parameter. And that's how you would find the area and perimeter for a regular hexagon. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was helpful. And if you want to see more problems solved this Friday, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel because all of that does assist us here. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.